Hey guys, okay, we're getting ready for the second flight of my FF Aurora. The first flight went pretty good with the 3S pack. Um, we clocked it, what, 97.6 miles an hour, I think? Yep. So now we're going to run it with a 4S pack with the 6 5.5 prop. And again, this is the uh, Monster Jet prototype that's a 2400 kV motor. So I'm hoping it'll break into the 100 mile an hour mark. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's got enough thrust, though. Oh yeah, dude, that thing seems like it's screaming now, man. I definitely think you picked up some speed. Yeah. That motor sounds like it's winding up big time. Damn, yeah, dude, that crazy. thing's cruising, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time we ran the Monster Jet on Forest, the 2400 version. I think that's a good prop yeah. for it if it's not over amping it. Dang, yeah, that thing passing. woke it up big time, man. Yeah. cool down yeah you don't want to do it more than about 10 seconds i only have a 60 amp esc and actually i didn't do a watt and amp meter on the yeah don't forget you one. only got an 1800 yeah. milliamp battery in there too cool down <laughs> lap. so i definitely like this plane though it feels like it's flying pretty good okay here we go so that 4s definitely made a big difference man the sound too yeah it sounds a really lot cool. meaner man Holy cow, <laughs> dude. That thing's screaming, man. There you go. That does justice for the Aurora. <laughs> okay, let's slow it down a little, see how it flies slowly. This is a nice cool day out, though. Yeah. Yeah, during the hotter day, I probably wouldn't put a 4S in here. It's probably, what, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit today, Frank? Yeah, it's pretty cool out, yeah. man. Sounds cool, man. How's the CG with the 4S in it? It came out uh, about perfect. I just slid it back a tiny bit. It's a little bit smaller. It's only 1800 versus the 2200 milliamp on the 3S. So uh, the weight was fairly close. Is that a 40C battery? It's a 40C. So we're definitely pushing the battery pretty hard, but. I think you're pushing everything here, yeah. man. <laughs> Including the motor. But I'm very happy with the way this uh, plane's flying so far on the uh, initial flights. Okay, I'm gonna bring her in so I can get some numbers. Let's see, I actually need to bring it in this way, huh? The wind changed. Yeah. That thing looks so cool in the air. Looks like it slows down nice too. Oh man, like a parachute landing. Let's see what the GPS numbers are. Okay guys, uh, plugged in for six minutes, 24 seconds. Flew 3.28 miles. Top speed, 103.8. Man, it sure seemed like it was going fast. Yeah, it seemed like it was faster, but uh, I guess the that's what the GPS recorded, 103 miles an hour. So. It did break into the triple digits, so I'm still happy. That's pretty good, man, for a foam board plane. Yeah, and it's a pretty good size wingspan on this one. All right, guys, that pretty much finishes up the uh, second flight that I did with the uh, FF Aurora. Um, those were the first two um, flights that I did with the plane, and I was pretty happy because it flew pretty good right off the uh, bat, or the first toss I threw it in the air. Um, I'm definitely happy with the way these uh, monster jets are performing, and I hope um, they'll be out soon for you guys so you can start a getting them and making your own planes. Um, but even if it's not out, I think this plane would actually fly pretty good with even just a, a Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet. I think it would probably still move this plane pretty good. And one last thing, um, it did break 100 miles an hour. We did hit 103.8 miles an hour, which was uh, pretty good. I did uh, meet my goal of breaking 100 miles an hour with this plane. Um, but I think there may be a little bit more speed um, left in this uh, setup. 
I forgot to um, reset my timing on my ESC. And on the other plane, I did that. I put it to high timing. And it seemed like it really made the motor um, fly a lot better. Give it a lot more power. So um, I'll probably do a few more tests. I'll take it back out there with the ESC set at uh, high timing. And I'll do some tests with the watt and amp meter. Um, see what type of watts and amps are running. And kind of get a better idea of how the 2400 kV version of this monster jet works on a 4S pack with the 65.5 prop. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty happy with the way it performed. So I look forward to this, uh, guys, coming out. I'm going to be working on finalizing the plans. There's a, a few tweaks i got to make to uh, the overall initial drawing I did to um, get it right for you guys. Uh, but once it does uh, get finished, I'll announce it and uh, let you guys know. So please stay tuned. You'll be seeing more of the uh, FF Aurora coming up. Oh, hey, guys, one real quick note before you go. I just want to let you know about um, two YouTube channels that I've been working on. Um, one is actually my channel that I've actually been talking with Jacques, our uh, Dutch connection, and we've been doing a lot of photography and uh, stuff like that. And if anybody's interested in looking at how to do a time lapse with your GoPro cameras, I've been doing a lot of that on there. And I'm probably going to be doing a lot of maybe some uh, After Effects and other stuff on there. But also we had one other channel that I've been helping out, uh, Thom. She's been doing a cooking channel, right Thom? Right. Yeah, if you guys would like to uh, come see, uh, please come check it out, my cooking channel. Yeah, she's, uh, cooking Tom's show. doing a Thai cooking channel, so anybody who's interested in doing uh, different types of cooking, she's doing a lot of uh, Thai and Asian cooking. And actually, I've even helped her. I've done a couple of my <laughs> crazy recipes. You can check out my bacon-wrapped, beer-injected Thanksgiving turkey or my crazy Meatzilla That's giant crazy. meat roast. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, but anyway, we just want to let you guys know. Uh, if you were interested, check it out. If not, uh, you don't have to either. Yeah. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, see you guys soon.